Hey everyone, so today it's just me. Um, I know, disappointment, but Drew is out on some much earned PTO and I made him a promise that we were gonna do a video this week. Um, so here we are, we're doing this video. And today's topic is fire drills. Uh, and fire drills are a have been a thorn in facilities management side for years. How to do it, where to do it, what time to do it, make sure that you meet the time defined criteria. Um, so there's actually been a tool that um, Ashy has developed, and we're going to go through that that tool here shortly. Uh, but before we do that, I want to I want to shout out to the the team that developed it. So um, not only does Ashy have staff uh, that that really help. Um, pull everything together, but there's a lot of committees and a lot of volunteers working behind the scenes. So this tool was actually developed by uh, one of those groups called a Member Tools Task Force, uh, and there's about two dozen or so individuals that uh, volunteer their time to write articles and develop tools for HFM Magazine and for for Ashy. Uh, so and it gets out to to all the members. So this is one of those tools, and you can actually find um, an article. Uh, that I wrote on it um, in this this month's edition of HFM Magazine. Uh, so that that task force is also led by a volunteer, Frank Rudeloso, out of New York Presby. So I got to give him a shout out because he he breaks his back um, coordinating all this stuff and working together uh, with with all the volunteers. So uh, everything you know, he's doing a great job, and you guys should really check out. There's been a couple of dozen tools developed, uh, so you should check them out. But we're gonna go through this uh, this tool here in a second. So it actually came from um, a hospital being cited for not having greater than one hour um, of time between a 12 month span of fire drills. And when the accrediting organization was asked um, to, to validate that that, that, that was the, the interpretation, they, they agreed that it was. So. We took this tool, and it's actually the Joint Commission Fire Drill Matrix, and we modified it with their approval, of course, to include conditional formatting um, where you can go through and it'll tell you if you are in compliance or not in compliance. Uh, we used some best practice um, stuff because to took a little bit more stringent approach um, than than what you might what what surveyors might say. So, uh, and we did that just to make sure that that um, we're putting out some qual a quality document that, that really exceeds the standard. So um, I'm gonna walk you through on a screen share how to get to the tool number one and then how to use it, just a quick quick brief overview of it. So if you go to uh, ashy.org backslash fire drill, that'll take you to the page where the, the fire, drill, do, fire drill matrix tool is stored. Uh, you're gonna have to log in first, of course, only ASHI members are gonna be able to access it. So if you're not an ASHI member, sign up for it and you can get it. Uh, but you just click on download and I've already downloaded it. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna open up the Excel spreadsheet. As you can see, this is the, the standard um, Joint Commission Fire Drill Matrix. And there's only, the only difference is, is that we've added conditional formatting to the date and time for first, first second and third shift. Um, and what that does, I'm just gonna put in an example here. We're just gonna do January 1st. Um, and then I'm gonna do the, the first of the next quarter to show you that nothing happens, right? So nothing happens as long as you're in compliance. It just, everything stays white. However, if I put in March 1st, then I know that I'm too close in my time frame um, from a quarterly perspective. So uh, it turns it red and what we chose to use for the criteria here was the plus or minus 10 days uh, from a, a quarterly definition perspective. That's not technically what all accrediting organizations are teaching, but it's a more stringent approach to it. Um, and it's a better way to ensure that, that you're, kind, you're um, within, that, within the requirements. Um, so we also did the same thing with the time. And this is 24 hour format, so I'm just gonna put in here, we're gonna say 1300, so 1, 1 p.m. Um, and what we can do is you can go to any other quarter now, uh, and let's just choose quarter four. And I can put in 1305, and it's gonna change it to red. Um, and you can see now that, that gives you, it highlights both of the cells so you can go and figure out where you're not in compliance. Um, so if I change this to 
2 p.m., the conditional formatting goes away. So, and that's really it. That's the that's the the whole tool. Uh, just some minor modifications to it, but it's, it gives that that uh, easy visual um, because we all know that we're all time starved in facilities management. So, uh, easy visual for us to quick input and and figure out if it's in compliance or not. Um, again, big shout out to all the volunteers that that pulled this together and to to Frank and Ashy staff uh, for leading the team. Um, so, any questions? Put them in the comments below. Uh, love to hear from you guys. And until next time, happy learning.